for a country like America but to be leaving behind about 38 to 40 percent of its youngsters in terms of not learning to read is unconscionable. There's a reading crisis in the United States. It's undeniable. You know, 39 percent, almost 40 percent of fourth graders do not read even at the basic level. If you disaggregate those data, 70 percent approximately of young African-American kids can't read, 70 percent. If you look at Hispanic kids, 65 to 70 percent. And, and as we know, a majority of students uh, do not read at the proficient level. What many people forget is the adult, the adult who is unable to read. Uh, the government keeps playing with the definition of literacy, but the, generally you say a person is illiterate if they, can't, if they uh, re can't read to at least the eighth grade level. Now we have a new study from the adult literacy world that talks to us about adult literacy skills measured in 1992 and then again in 2003. It's very disturbing what we found in this nation. We really are making no progress. In fact, we're going backwards in so many areas. 93 million adults out of a total adult population of around 221 million are at basic literacy levels or below basic. There are very few people who are totally illiterate in the United States. But when it comes to levels of literacy that don't allow them full participation. That the people who are below basic literacy levels can't carry out the basic everyday functions that they would normally pursue in, um, in American society. It means that they can't read a bus schedule and get, see how to get across town. It means that they can't use most of the self-service uh, ATMs without additional instruction. It means that they can't fill out the average job application to uh, try to get a job or uh, to be able to improve their employment uh, in getting another job. It means that they can't uh, easily fill out an application for getting a driver's license. So uh, that is really fundamental to our society and that's about 30 million people estimated who are below literacy levels. Now if you go to the next level of those who are considered at uh, basic literacy levels, they still are operating at a very rudimentary level in terms of math skills and in terms of reading capabilities, uh, being unable to draw simple conclusions from reading a column in a newspaper or reading a newspaper editorial that may be comparing candidates in a local election. You need to read it at a higher level than that to read Time, to read Newsweek, to read the New York Times. Uh, it's been estimated that Medicare forms, you need to be reading at 14th grade level. You need to be reading at the rate and the, uh, the comprehension level of a person who's at uh, uh, halfway through college in order to understand the Medicare forms that the government is, is currently cranking out. But I think there's a larger question here. Um, going back to that figure of 93 million adults uh, who have basic or less than basic literacy skills, that means that many of those adults are parents or caregivers for children. Now one of the major policy implications is that the low level of performance of, adult, uh, of adults uh, in this country on literacy um, has great implications for what we can accomplish in children's literacy because there can be no successful comprehensive children's literacy program without an adult literacy component and clearly many of adult Americans who are parents or caregivers are not capable of supporting and assisting these children in school.